Greetings, ladies and germs. Elton McFull trying to kick it old school as much as I can every day with an ever-changing world filled with safe, great on gas cars, but boring as hell for the most part. And look, I'm looking out the window of the, the bus I'm on, which is scrap, but at least it's air conditioned. And look at this classic 60s VW bus. As a matter of fact, this happens to be in the NDG sector of the city. This looks like it could be the same one that I've seen over the years parked off of Sherbrooke Street here, but several, several, several blocks down there, uh, God, like 20 years ago, it was white like this, but over green, like a kind of a puke green, you know, like a piece of green. And, and that is some serious promoting. I mean, I got to tell you, this is really well done. This caught my eye. I mean, you know, I'm visually impaired. And I said, I had to come in and, and do a little uh, video of it. That's, that's, I think that's Repop. They make these, uh, they make these today, the VW symbols, because those original ones are, I think they're aluminum and they, they're like hundreds of dollars. I mean, maybe even more actually. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Somebody made a mistake over here though. This door must have come off something else. I don't know. This is not very even over here. I don't know why. Very bizarre. But it's still, it's very eye-catching. It's very well done. It's very cool to see that. And, uh, you know, again, if this is the same one I saw 20 years ago, then uh, uh, years later I saw it, it was repainted all white. And what's interesting about the one when I saw it, for sure that thing was from out west because it had all these light surface rust, like speckles of, of dust all over the whole front. It's just like, just beautiful rust as it is. Speaking of buses, as it is out west, how things rust, not like here, here it's like a, a paradox, you know? Anyway, uh, I didn't even catch the name of this place, whatever, you'll see it in the video. It's just, that is it's fantastic. You know, it, it reminds me of um, back in, um, back in, oh my God, like 30 years ago, my family and I, we took a trip to Washington, D.C. with my, my grandparents in the 79 Delta 88. And, you know, apart from the axle breaking, breaking off the fucking differential uh, on I-87, I think, in New York State. Uh, I remember when we were in Washington, D.C., there was a, a, a restaurant, it was part of a chain of restaurants called Studebaker's. And there was a, a 50 Studebaker uh, parked in the front. It was mint and I never forgot that. And there was even a Studebaker restaurant. Another non -scrap there. Another Studebaker res restaurant here in Montreal, but it didn't, it didn't last. It didn't last long at all, you know, so uh, very cool. Yeah, it looks like it's some sort of a restaurant. Uh, it says this, Sawat Salem, Salem. I don't Looks like you get some kind of an ice cream shop. Anyway, I'm really cool. And uh, you know what? If, it, if this brings them any business, good for them. They probably deserve it to have put all this effort into this business and promotion. Because in this day and age, man, especially in Montreal, 50% or 60% of businesses fail within the first year, specifically restaurants. So that's for me to have gotten off to go make a little video of that. I mean, that's that just says volume about, the, you know, the, the effort they put into that. And speaking of businesses, I'm going to go. I have a little bite myself there. It is an old, actually, an old uh, Ford Explorer. They're still in good shape. Not all rusted out. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Adios.